Hello friends, this video straight line path 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched straight lines part 1 to part 9. So in intercept form, we write the equation in this form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1, where a and b are x and y intercept. So now if you see this graph, here this is a, the line cuts x axis at point a0 and y axis at point 0b. This is y intercept b and a is right here, a is equal to x intercept and b is equal to y intercept. Now in such case if we know x and y intercept then we can write the equation in this form x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. We can prove this equation also. So now we can assume that these two points we know. We know two points. Now since we know two points we can form the equation. First let's find the slope of this equation. Slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So this will be b minus 0 by 0 minus a. So that is minus b by so we can write this minus b by a is equal to y minus y1 we will take y minus y minus 0 we will take this point by x minus this is the equation we will get let's solve this so what we get a y minus 0 plus b into x minus a is equal to 0 further we will get this a y plus bx is equal to ab. Now we will divide the whole equation by ab because we wanted right hand side. We will divide the whole equation by ab to get right side 1. So what we get is y by this which cancel b plus x by a this b we cancel is equal to 1. So if you see this is the same equation that is written here. So we have proof of this equation that this equation is true. Please make a note. This kind of equation is easy or handy to form equation of line when we know x and y intercept. If we know x and y intercept, we can directly line the equation of the line as x by a plus y by b is equal to 1, where a and b are x and y intercept respectively. So this kind of equation is handy when we know x and y intercept of a given line. So in such case, we can write the equation as x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a and b are x and y intercept respectively. Let's take my example of intercept form. So we are told that we have to find the equation where 4 and 3 are x and y intercept respectively. So 4 is a and 3 is b. So now we have to find the equation. Very simple. We know this formula x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. So we can say x by 4 plus y by 3 is equal to 1 or we get 3x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. That is the equation we get. See it is very simple. If we know a and y, if we know x and y intercept we can just use the formula x by a plus y by b is equal to simply solve this equation. Let us take an example here we, it says that we have to find the equation of the line that passes through 2 comma 2 and the intercept sum is 9 that is a plus b is equal to 9. So this is the line, I will draw the line. So this is the line we have, this is the x axis. So I will draw this is x axis, this is y axis, this is a, this is b and it says 2 comma 2 is a point in this. We have to draw the equation. We have to find the equation of the line. So we are told that a plus b is equal to 9. So we know that equation of the line where a and b are known as x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. Now since b is equal to a minus 2 or here we can say b is equal to a minus 2, we will write b is equal to a minus 2 or we can write this equation as x by a plus y by b instead b we can say a minus 2 is equal to 1. Now one more thing we are told that 2 comma 2 satisfies this equation. So we will put x and y as 2 and 2 and then we will find the value of a. So or we get 
टू बाय ए प्लस टू बाय ए माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू वन और इफ यू सॉल्व दिस व्हाट वी गेट इज ए इन टू ए माइनस टू वी गेट हेयर सॉरी ए प्लस बी वाज नाइन सो दिस बस b is 9 minus a so this is 9 minus a this is also 9 minus a so this we get 9 minus a so what we get here is 2 common 9 minus a plus a is equal to 1 or we get 2 into this is cancelled 2 into 9 is equal to a into 9 minus a or we get 18 is equal to 9a minus a square. Now we can solve this equation. a square minus 9 or a square minus 9a plus 18 is equal to 0. This we have this equation. We can factorize this. So what we will get a square minus 6a minus 3a plus 18 is equal to 0. Or we get a into a minus 6 a minus 3 is equal to 0. Thus we get a is equal to 3 or 6. Correct? When a is equal to 3 or 6, b is equal to b is nothing but 9 minus a that is 6 or 3. So thus a, b if we see we have two option 3 comma 6 or 6 comma 3. These are two values of a and b. So we will have two equation. First equation in this case, when a is equal to 3, x by 3, b is equal to 6, is equal to 1. And second equation, when we say x by 6 plus y by 3 is equal to So these are the two equations we got. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So two possible options for this scenario. x by 3 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 or x by 6 plus y by 3 is equal to 1. Very simple. What we have done, we have written this form, equation is form, x by a plus y by b is equal to 1. We knew that b is equal to 9 minus a. We have replaced that. So we have got equation in the form of x, y and a. We were told that 2 by 2 passes through this line. So we have put x and y as 2 and 2. Thus, we solved this equation to get the value of a. Then, once we had the value of a, we have used this equation b is equal to 9 minus a to get the value of b. So we have found a and b as 3 by 6, 3 comma 6 or 6 comma 3. So now for both these cases we have got this equation. x by 3 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 or x by 6 plus y by 3. So we are told that point P is the midpoint of a line segment between x's. This is point P and its value is a comma b. It is a midpoint this and this is equal. Now we have to prove that the equation of the line, this line L, is x by a plus y by b is equal to 2. Now, we have to find this point first. Let's suppose this point is Q and this point is R. Now, let's assume the value of this. R will be have some x value, but the z y value will be 0 because it is lying on the x-axis. Similarly, for point Q, x will be 0 and y will have some value. Now since P is the midpoint, so we can say that P is equal to Q plus R by 2. So that is P of X, that is X of P is equal to A, this is A, is equal to Q plus R by 2, that is 0 plus X by 2. Or we can say X is equal to 2. Similarly, P of Y is equal to B is equal to this is y plus 0 by 2 or y is equal to 2b. So now we have this values. So we can say this is 2a comma 0 and this is 0 comma 2b. That is as good as saying that for this equation x intercept is 2a and y intercept is 2 That means we can say that a dash is equal to 2a and b dash is equal to 2b. So for this equation we will write the for this line we will write the equation that is x by a dash plus y by b dash is equal to 1. Now we know that 
a dash is, is equal to 2a and b dash is equal to 2b is equal to 1 or we can write this equation as x by a plus y by b is equal to 2. So we have taken 2 here and that is what we have done through. So we have proved this. Very simple what we have done. We knew that point a b is the midpoint and we had this point q and r. We found the value of q and r. That, thus we found the value of actual value of x and y intercept, x and y intercept, x intercept came out to be 2a and y intercept came out to be 2b and then thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.